morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare path practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, the longevity products, skin health issues, anything we're speaking about here today, connective tissue and uh, heart failure, we're going to talk about the heart for a while here. If you're dealing with uh, high blood pressure or heart health issues, if you have any kind of health challenge that you want help with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program, or if you want to join the bright side Ben team and Help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And if you want to make some money at the same time, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're a business person, if you want to start a business but you don't know how to start it, you want to know about the longevity, longevity products and the longevity business, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up right off the website. What websites and purchase products right off the websites as well. If you want to check out our True Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel and Vitamin C Rich Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, all at truthtreatments.com. We also have blogs, a blog post at truthtreatments.com as well. And uh, also encourage you to check out our Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. And that's my skin health Facebook page. Got lots of, uh, lots of posts, blog posts, as well as videos. And uh, also running specials. Periodically, we run specials on our Truth Skin Health products at The Truth with Ben. That's my Facebook page. Okay, so we are talking connective tissue. We're talking about the heart. Connective tissue, of course, involves lots more than the heart. If you have fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, migraine headaches, arthritis, autoimmune diseases, all of, these, all of these involve the connective tissue. But heart disease is one of those health challenges that millions and millions of Americans are dealing with. But one of those health challenges that doesn't really get thought of as a connective tissue problem, but indeed it is. There's a major relationship between connective tissue, connective tissue deterioration and heart disease. Uh, all heart disease, really, including congestive heart failure, which is a, a, a really, it basically means your heart doesn't work, your heart fails, the heart doesn't pump efficiently. And there's a, a serious connection between the connective tissue and heart failure. Nearly five, five million Americans have congestive heart failure, which is not so much about the heart as it is about the body. Heart failure does not occur by itself. It's part of a general deterioration of the body. Specifically, heart failure is about a general deterioration of the connective tissue. Heart failure and connective tissue diseases go hand in hand. And nothing exemplifies the flawed nature of medicine and the flawed nature of cardiology more than the idea that we can treat the heart by itself, that we can just treat the heart without addressing 
the systemic the bodily breakdown, the way the body breaks down as a whole. This lack of understanding between the relationship of the connective tissue and the rest of the body, specifically the heart, is why doctors will resort to butchering the body with bypasses and, and drugging it up with beta blockers and calcium channel blockers and ACE inhibitors and promote this purely idiotic idea with a capital I that you can make the heart better by suppressing, artificially suppressing cholesterol production. The relationship between the heart and the connective tissue is about our electrical nature. It's about our electricity, our bioelectricity. The heart is a highly electrical system and connective tissue is likewise electrical. The connective tissue is an electrical network which is unfortunately not appreciated as such because we still live in this biochemical world, in this chemical world where the, the body is seen as a, a chemical system, not an electrical system. It's seen as a mechanical and chemical system. We haven't yet absorbed the truth of the electrical or quantum nature of the world. The connective tissue and the electrical system, and, and really without getting into too much strange science, the quantum nature of the body is about how the body is put together as a unit, as a homogenous whole. We don't live in a separate world. Our senses tell us that the world is separate, that our body is made up of separate parts. We live in a field and everything is connected to each other. The connective tissue exposes the idea, the, the fallacy, that we live in a separate we live in a separate world and then our body is made up of separate components. Via the connective tissue, the entire body operates as a coherent system where the top of your head is instantly connected to the bottom of your foot. The connective tissue is the physical manifestation of the body not as separate parts but as a field, as a unit. And this field encompasses all of our organs. The brain has a field, the nervous system has a field, the bones have a field, the muscles have a field, and all these fields interact with each other. The heart has a major electrical field. The heart is so unbelievably amazing. It's about the size of the fist. It weighs like maybe half a pound and it endlessly pumps out oxygen and uh, 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 oxygenated blood and nutriated blood to every cell of the body millions of times a year, 30 million, 35 million times a year, billions of times in a lifetime. And it generates a field that is 60 times greater than the field of the, of the brain and 5,000 times, a magnetic field that's 5,000 times stronger than the brain's magnetic field. The electrical field of the heart is about 60 times greater than the electrical field of the brain and 5,000 times greater than the uh, magnetic field of the brain. You can detect the magnetic field of the heart several feet outside of your body. As we go about our day, think about this, as we go about our day, unbeknownst to us, we are living and moving and breathing in this vast web of everybody's electrical fields. Everybody's, uh, there's billions, six, seven, eight billion electrical heart fields all over everywhere we go and we're living in everybody else's heart fields and everybody else is living in ours. And we don't know any of this. We're not taught any of this. In fact, most people uh, think this is crazy. Many of you guys out there think this is just crazy. Think this is just foo-foo, weird medicine, weird science. Medical people call this silly. I remember when I was a kid and people first started talking about acupuncture, which is the quintessential example of using the electrical field of the body for healing. Back when I was a kid in the 60s and 70s, it was considered to be just this crazy quack science. What do you mean? Stick needles in your body? How does that work? Stick needle? That can't be, that can't be right. Even though for thousands of years, acupuncture has been used with cr tremendous effects and health benefits. Everybody knew it worked. In China, it was being used not only to heal disease, but as an anesthetic. Women would go through, uh, would go through childbirth. They'd deliver babies with, just, with no anesthetic, just acupuncture. You know, they would do surgical procedures with no anesthetic, with just acupuncture. Clearly, it worked, and nobody understood this thing because nobody understood the uh, or thought of the body as an electrical system. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Side, I'm farming. 
Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, cardiovascular disease, anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, questions about Truth Skin Health products or formulations, ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, including our connective tissue generating, connective tissue building, retinol 5% gel, skin health issues, wrinkles, fine lines, photo damage are all connective tissue health issues. Thinning skin involves the connective tissue. If you want to have healthy, beautiful, young looking skin, you got to generate connective tissue. You got to build connective tissue in the skin. This should be no surprise if you've been listening to this program for the last couple of weeks or even last month or so. We've been talking about the importance of connective tissue in the body, the same importance of the connective tissue for making the body strong and healthy is uh, important for keeping the skin strong and healthy and young looking as well. And that's why you need vitamin C and that's why you need retinol. That's why you need vitamin C in the correct form, the fatty form. That's why you need to have a delivery system like my transdermal delivery matrix in your skin health product. Where are you going to find that? At truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And that's the only place you're going to find retinol 5%. That's the only place you're going to find 70 to 80% fat-soluble vitamin C. That's the only place you're going to find my transdermal delivery matrix, which I've been perfecting for the last 30 years in my compounding pharmacy. That's the only place you're going to find products with no preservative, fragrance, filler, wax, surfactant, water, emulsifier, uh, anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right. This is from the journal Lupus. June 2005, the clinical cardiac manifestations most frequently reported in something called myositis, which is a connective tissue disease. The clinical cardiac manifestations most frequently reported in connective tissue disease are congestive heart failure and conduction abnormalities. That means electrical conduction problems in the heart that may lead to complete heart block and coronary artery disease. Connective tissue disease and heart disease go hand in hand. And this makes perfect sense when you understand the electrical nature of the heart and the electrical nature of the the connective tissue. We don't talk about the connective tissue and its ability to link every part of the body up via electricity anywhere near enough. Even though logic tells us that the body's an electrical system, the connective tissue is electrical, there must be, and the heart is electrical, there must be some kind of link. When I was a kid growing up, nobody could understand acupuncture. Acup- they knew it worked because in China, they were doing all kinds of surgical procedures with it, and they were curing disease with it for thousands of years. So they knew it worked, but doctors said, well, it must be the placebo effect. Why? Because nobody could... Nobody really saw that there was one unifying conducting system in the body. Well, some people saw it, but modern medicine didn't recognize that the connective tissue was a unified electrical network that conducted electricity throughout the body, for every cell of the body. The connective tissue is this missing electrical link. It's this missing link of electrical, of elect, uh, uh, that describes the electrical network or the electrical nature of the body. The connective tissue is not just mechanical. Everybody knew it was mechanical. It was important for posture. It was important for for keeping the body uh, held upright. We knew the bone was connective tissue. But nobody recognized it as an electrical system. This, by the way, is why exercise is so important. You improve your body's electrical network when you exercise. This is why yoga is so important. This is why using things like glucosamine, using vitamin C, using your bone broth protein is so important. This is why limiting the intake of sugar is so important. Sugar plays a particularly nasty role when it comes to destroying connective tissue. Connective tissue plus sugar is a very bad combination. There's no organ more important than, uh, on the electrical nature of the connective tissue more than the heart. Once the connective tissue breaks down, it's going to break down everywhere. And the heart has connective tissue as much as any other part of the body has connective tissue. The heart's, heart cells sit on a framework of connective tissue. Once the connective tissue breaks down, it's going to break down everywhere, and that includes the heart, and heart disease will be inevitable, and still we persist in this idiotic notion that suppressing cholesterol, idiotic notion, I, I don't know how firmer I could be, it's idiotic, 
this idiotic idea that suppressing cholesterol with statin drugs is somehow the best way to prevent a heart attack or heart disease. Now, I know that statin drugs are not like a beta blocker. Beta blockers are hideous, hideous, hideous medicines. Calcium channel blockers are hideous medicines. Many of the so-called vasodilators, blood vessel opener drugs, are hideous. Digoxin, Lenoxin, hideous. Statin drugs is not, are not in that category. This is why doctors feel more comfortable just dispensing it like candy. This is why 25% of Americans are somewhere near that number, maybe even more, are on a statin drug. This is why you walk in with, with even a hint of a heart problem and you're going to get a statin drug. So it, it's true. Statin drugs are not that deadly. But they're still drugs. They're still going to affect your liver. They're still going to require detox for the liver. And even though the FDA no longer recommends routine liver exams for folks who are on statin drugs, they used to say everybody on a statin drug had to have, uh, or, or every six months, had to have their liver checked. They don't say that anymore, okay? And, but that doesn't mean it's not toxic for the liver. It is toxic for the liver. All drugs are toxic for the liver. All drugs have to be processed by the liver. The only thing that should be, the body wants inside it are things that are already part of it. I came up with a word to describe this many years ago in the skincare world. I call it biogenic. The only thing the body wants and the only thing the skin wants are, are biogenic substances. That is substances that are found in biology. Drugs do not meet that category and 99% of topical skincare ingredients don't meet that category either, which is why I don't use them. The body only wants things it recognizes, that it knows what to do with. Drugs do not fit that category. And even though statin drugs are not as toxic as some others, they still have to be processed as a poison. Not to mention the fact that cholesterol is the, if not the key player, it is a key player, but probably it is the key player in cellular health. And you're going to take a drug that suppresses cholesterol? Are you joking? Are you kidding me? You're going to take a drug, you're going to dispense a drug doctor that is going to suppress the production of what is arguably, and I say inarguably, the body's most important chemical, responsible, literally responsible for the electrical nature of a cell, or at least the cell membrane. Are you joking? Unbelievable. The relationship between health, good health, good bodily health, good brain health, good cellular health, good hormone health, and the production of cholesterol is so profound and so significant that we got to ask this question. Is it this cholesterol phobia meme, this mind virus that has been inserted into society, that has been inserted into culture by the evil pharmacomedical model? We have to ask ourselves, is this intentional? Is this an intentional way to make humanity weak? Is this a conscious attempt to domesticate us? Is this a conscious attempt to dumb us down? That's how important cholesterol is for the body. We got to ask, is this, is this some kind of evil plot? It could very well be, and I don't mean to go all conspiracy theory here, but the fact that cholesterol is so darn important for the body, and we got these dumb, dumb medical professionals who want to suppress it. We got to ask, is there something going on here? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24 7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts and longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. 844 236 6010 is our number. We will get your calls here in just a sec, so hang on if you are on hold. If not, we do have lines open for you. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, heart health questions, cardiovascular, if you're dealing with cardiovascular disease or know somebody who is, we want help with that. 844 236 6010 is our number. From the journal Circulation. Cardiovascular manifestations, cardiovascular just means heart and blood vessels, cardiovascular manifestations of mixed connective tissue disease in adults. Researchers concluded cardiovascular abnormalities associated with connective tissue disease include pericarditis, mitral valve prolapse, hyperplasia, that means uh, thickening, 
of the coronary arteries and pulmonary hypertension, lung hypertension. They could have added abdominal swelling, edema, and fluid accumulation, varicose veins, hemorrhoids. All of these can be linked to cardiovascular health issues that are associated with connective tissue diseases. They go hand in hand. And one day, we'll get the idea, we'll finally realize, our, our medical professionals anyway, we'll finally, finally realize that via this connective tissue link, the body deteriorates as a system, all the components of the body, including the heart. And I would venture to say that one of the main reasons for our epidemic of heart disease, the leading killer in the United States of America and around the world, and perhaps the leading cause of misery is is connective tissue deterioration. All right, 844-236-6010. Let's go to, 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 and by the way, vitamin C is the quintessential connective tissue building supplement. Vitamin C and vitamin C deterioration or vitamin C deficiency disease, uh, scurvy, is a connective tissue problem, a connective tissue disease. We die from connective tissue dissolution, the dissolving of connective tissue under vitamin C deficiency. We die, that's how we die from scurvy. And there are a lot of savvy medical professionals like Dr. Matthias Rath and Linus Pauling who believe that heart disease is really a form of scurvy. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. David in Pennsylvania, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. How's it I had going? A question about, I had a question about uh, salmonella. Yes. And how to deal with it. And now, who has salmonella and how do you know it's salmonella? All right, I had salmonella. I got it oh, a couple months ago and was treated um, with about a one week supply of uh, antibiotics. And now, what made, them, what made them say it was salmonella and not just plain old food poisoning? Well, I mean, not well, that it matters. I'm just curious. The first diagnosis, I was away on a travel job. The first diagnosis was at a 24-hour uh, medical center. They just had a bacterial infection in your intestine. And they just did blood work, but that was it. Um, after the after I ran through that set of antibiotics, about uh, two weeks later, after I was done, I started getting symptoms again. Went to a uh, at-home medical provider, doctor, and uh, they did blood work, which was fine, but then did a stool sample that said that it was salmonella and Interesting. gave me another week's worth of a different type of antibiotic. And now you feel great because they killed the salmonella and you're all great and you had your doctor fixed you up, right? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you now. <laughs> what? So, I don't understand. Your doctor just fixed you up. He gave you an antibiotic and you're good to go, no? Right. No, that's not the no, case. That's no, that's happened, is it? I'm feeling okay, but now I'm getting everything all back over again. So it's been about well, two months of being uh, on with this. So. Uh, it doesn't totally sound like salmonella to me. You, you know, usually... Usually it'll happen about it'll it'll happen you'll get you'll eat something and then one uh, that day next day twelve to forty eight hours somewhere in there you'll get sick and then it'll last a few days like you know if it's really bad it may last a week and then you'll recover so I'm not For sure real, why your body can heal from that yeah it's food poisoning okay. you, is, you never had food poisoning before no I have and that's how long does it last it does it doesn't it doesn't come and go and it doesn't you know last forever it's it's pretty miserable I've had it a couple times it's really miserable but it resolves itself so yeah, it doesn't it's, sound it's like that to me it sounds like there's something else going on so wh okay. how old are you first of all uh, 38 okay and you're perfectly healthy before that yes well what what I know I got it from was I normally do raw eggs but I did store bought when I was away and you did what? Oh, store bought eggs. Store bought eggs, yeah. And I had raw. I was eating raw eggs, so I had about eight of them. So I was pretty sure that's how I got it. All right. Well, that could have been, but it should have resolved itself. Uh, okay. Do you know what a colonic? Here's a couple ideas for you. Okay. First of all, you should be doing clay every day. Bentonite clay. That's first of all. Okay. Second of all, you should be pounding probiotics and fermented food. All right. You may want to get some charcoal capsules. And also, do you know what a colonic is? No, I don't know what a colonic is. A colonic is where they have, you go to this therapist, a colonic therapist, and they have a special machine, and they pump water in you, if you know what I'm saying, in your right. colon, okay? Right. And they wash you out. And by the way, it's a wonderful treatment just for everybody, but it's especially good if you have a back, uh, anything going on, dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria, or if you have food poisoning. I had it done when I had food poisoning. It was amazing. 
So cleaning right. yourself out, it's good for everybody, but cleaning yourself out. You might also want to try uh, nutrients that support the immune system. Lots of vitamin C, selenium, zinc, and acetylcysteine, NAC, if you've heard of that. And you might want to try some alpha lipoic acid as well. And then uh, f I think I said vegetable juices, probiotics, and fermented foods, restoring gut bacteria. The antibiotics probably did a number in your gut. You may be dealing with problems from the antibiotics for all you know. Okay. Wow. All right. And, and uh, the bentonite clay and also the charcoal caps can help too, and the colonics. Those are all very important. That's what yeah, I would be I do doing. Have all these, I do have all these things. I just kind of stopped. I'm doing that three days of no eating, just drinking water and letting my inflammation, because when I do have to use the bathroom, it's just like painful. It's, yeah, it's that doesn't that. sound, that doesn't sound like something else. It sounds like something more serious than that to me. Okay. So are you throwing up? No, no, not yeah. at all. That Just doesn't. My gut, my yeah, I don't know. That just doesn't sound like food poisoning to me. Did you throw up at all when you like the day after you did it, or the couple days after you did the eggs? Uh, it was about four days of it. I had about eight eggs over those four no, days. No, 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 nausea. Then... Did you get nauseous after you ate the eggs? No, did you have? See, that's not the body. Was, when you have food poisoning, the body's attempting to expel the bacteria, right? That's why you have the diarrhea, but you also have vomiting. So it doesn't sound like food poisoning to me. Although I'm not saying it's not or it is, I don't know, but it just doesn't sound like that. All right? All right, I'm going to hit this stuff hard. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. Yeah, let it. me know. Stay in touch, will you? Send an email, ben at ksco.com. Just let me know. I'd be very curious to know uh, what, what right, you find out, David. Good. Thank you. All right, buddy. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And we do have lines open. Let's go to Javier in Texas. Good morning, Javier. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on, Javier? Sir, I was calling because I went for a, they repaired a little bit of a, I had surgery and then they, I went into the hospital because they got infected. What kind of surgery and did you have? On my, uh, uh, what they call it, on your penis, when they take off the skin. A circumcision? Yes. Okay, hang on, Javier. We got we to gotta take a sure. break. We got to take a break. Okay, don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have lines open for you. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website, or you can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. also want to encourage you to check out our, uh, our uh, miscellaneous health products at brightsidehealth.com. I've got an article here about CBD oil and seizures. I just got that off the internet. Where is this? CBD oil may reduce frequency and severity of epileptic seizures. This came out yesterday. Uh, more, you know, we've known this for a while now. Uh, we've known it about hemp or, or marijuana, THC, and uh, now it's becoming clear that CBD, CBD oil may reduce frequency and severity of epileptic, epileptic seizures, that it's anti-seizure, which is really amazing. Add that to all of its other benefits. It's a, a, a pain reliever, CBD oil is, uh, it's been used, believe it or not, to treat cancer, and somewhat effectively, if you believe what you're reading on the internet, including pet cancer, by the way, which is kind of interesting, and also as an anti-seizure, reducing the frequency and severity of epileptic seizures as anti-seizure medicine, and this is actually from a drug company, GW Pharmaceuticals. Drug companies are really looking into CBD. You can find a really super high-end CBD product at brightsidehealth.com. That's Pure Hemp Technology CBD that I'm carrying. Only uh, all the products on, on brightsidehealth.com have been vetted by me. I have seen the results. I, I, I have, uh, uh, I'm the gatekeeper on all those products. The only thing I'm going to put on that website, brightsidehealth.com, are products that I think are amazing and that you can't get anywhere else. Brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. All right, we're talking to Javier in Texas. Javier, my friend, are you there? Yes, sir. Still okay, here. So, so you had a circumcision done. How old are you? Uh, 47. Well, that yeah. could not have been a fun thing to go through. Uh, no, not, not at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I changed jobs, and my new work required a 
well, concrete work now. And it required a circumcision? I don't understand. Well, no, because they would rub my 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 thingy. Okay, all right. That's that's a lot of detail, but that's kind of interesting. I never would have thought of that. I have to admit. And they told me to take it off, so I did. Okay, and all right. I I went to work like three days after that, and yeah. it tore, and I ended up in oh the hospital. Goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my Javier! Oh my goodness! Uh, so <laughs> when I ended up there. They, when I got out, like a week later, I, yeah. they gave me five blood pressure medications and two what? more diabetes. What? Uh -huh. well, wait, wait, wait. This is, are you, this is a joke, Javier. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm serious. Wait a minute. So, so you had a circumcision done because you had to, because for, con for construction work, I, I never heard of that right. before. And then you went back to work and something tore. I didn't quite understand what tore. I don't know if I want to know. The fishes, but, the fishes came off and they got infected. And I oh went my back God. The and they put you, and how long were you in the hospital for? Uh, like six days. And then you left the with a, you left with prescriptions for six hyper, antihypertensives? Five, five hypertension drugs and two diabetes drugs. I never had diabetes and I never had Unbelievable. That is, that's just, that's, that's blowing me away. You are totally blowing me away here. Are you still on those drugs? I'm on, I'm on two of the uh, blood pressure medication and, and then they put me on another one because they're trying to take and this is the ones that I'm that I'm on. I'm minoxidil and methadone. No way, minoxidil. That is one nasty drug. That is one horrible drug, minoxidil. It what? makes me feel like that's an awful drug. What? I didn't even know they still use it. What else is the other one? Met metoprolol. Metoprolol. That's another nasty. Javier, are, they're trying to kill you. This is terrible. Those are awful. I, I can't tell you what to do because I don't know. I, I think I'm missing some pieces here because this doesn't make this isn't computing. No, but, nothing. Uh, how can they do this to you? And so, so what are they diagnosing you with? Do you know what your diagnosis is? They said that I had high blood pressure while I was in the in the hospital while I was going through the uh, oh my through God. the surgery through the repair. So they put <sighs> me on a bunch of pills. And I've been Javier, to the Javier, hospital you, like ten times after I left. Unbelievable! How is how is your circumcision? How's that going? Oh, that was perfect. And so I mean, everything's healed up. You're not in pain. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got to find you, you got to find somebody who can walk you through the hypertension thing because I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. The diabetic part doesn't make any sense to me at all. But because I'm not there with you, I can't help you. But I can tell you those well, those drugs are awful, 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 and I can't tell you whether you need it or not because I'm not there. But I can tell you they're awful drugs, and you should do everything you could do to get off of them. But well, you got to have somebody. I, who, go ahead. I, I, I found uh, uh, the cardiologist that saw Not me. Not a cardiologist. Doctor. Do not go uh -huh. to a cardiologist. I wouldn't go to a no. heart doctor. I would go to a naturopath or somebody who understands nutrition. Oh. You know, I would go, if you have to for insurance or whatever, go to a cardiologist. But other than, I would go to somebody who understands nutrition. Not they, somebody they who prescribes a, drugs. They did a uh, nuclear stress test and they said that my heart was good. Everything was right. And so he started taking off uh, the medicine. The Metropole. First, okay. Okay. And so he's he's it with um, lodopine. Uh, there's still it's still a nasty drug. What's your blood pressure, Javier? Do you know? Uh, right now it's bad. It no, no. Up. What's your blood pressure? You what was your blood pressure when they put you on the drugs? Before they put me on drugs, it used to run anywhere from 120 to 140. Uh, Unbelievable. 80 to 90. Unbelievable, Javier. And they're killing you, buddy. Up to 200. That, that's blowing me away. That's blowing me away. That's just craziness. I have. I, that's got to be the, one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Although, unfortunately, I'm not totally surprised because this is. Just, you know, when you read about all the prescriptions that people are taking, the billions and billions of prescriptions that people are taking, it's like four billion a year. And you think about most people don't take prescriptions. You got to understand that some people are taking a lot of prescriptions, and you're one of them. And this is how it's done. And you know how much money is being made off of you, Javier? You are uh, a complete eight. A lot. a lot. A lot. Are you, do you have insurance for all this? Hey, I pay part of it and part of it self-pay. 
This yeah. is this is why this is how the business of medicine works, you guys. I want everybody to hear this. This is how the business of medicine works. A guy like Javier comes into the a hospital. He gets completely over medicated, completely over diagnosed and and over tested, uh, and that Javier doesn't notice it because you're only paying a copay. But the insurance company is getting stuck with it, and then the insurance company turns around and 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 raises our our premiums and the cost of medicine increases, and it's all because an innocent guy like Javier goes in uh, for a medical procedure and comes out as a ward of the medical model, as an ATM for the medical model to feed off of. It is so awful. It is so terrible. Javier, you're a poster child for this, my friend. So, I mean, it's a crazy, that's a crazy, crazy story. If you have a, you know, if you have a minute and you have a chance, send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number there because I'd like to talk to you because I'd like to get yeah. some more, some more details because that is just got to be the craziest story I've ever, one of the craziest stories I've ever heard as a healthcare professional. So, uh, uh, I'd be weaning myself off of those drugs. Those are terrible drugs. Have a naturopath who understands nutrition will start working with you. And then as far as healing up goes, there's a lot of nutrients you could take to speed healing, but it sounds like you're doing okay. You should definitely get on a supplement program, though. I would get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as soon as possible. I, I, I use all that. I use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but they told me to stop using it because oh, they told you vitamin K or vitamin C. Oh, my God, like that. Javier. That is you just abs. That is mind-blowing. So they want to put you on five drugs, some of the most horrible drugs there are, and take you off your nutrients because of the vitamin K. Yeah. Un unreal. Unreal. <laughs> Okay, you know, and it, I, I, I feel like I feel like you probably feel terrible. So you, you, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. How did you feel after you were on those five drugs? I couldn't get up there. I used to work. <laughs> I worked construction all my life, and I couldn't get up. I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom. Un I was believe that is just too crazy i'm sure people gotta be cracking up listening to this javier i'm so sorry brother but if you'll it, it sounds like you're you're turning things around if you send me an email with your put your phone yeah, on there sure. stay on the health stay on the uh, beyond tangy tangerine if you want to get on the healthy start pack that would be great pretty much all the things that we talk about regularly on the yeah, program sure. okay and god bless uh -huh. you my friend good good luck with everything all right, Thank that you, is sir. just, that's got to be one, that might be the craziest story I've ever heard. Guy goes into the hospital for, because he got circumcised, he needs to heal. He leaves with five blood pressure medicines and two anti-diabetic medicines and feels like crap. Un, unreal. All right, I'm Farm Spen. Thank you for listening, friends. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, brightsidehealth.com. BrightsideHealth.com, as well as CriticalHealthNews.com, PharmacistBen.com, or BrightsideBen.com. Got blog posts, critical. Uh, got blog posts as well as uh, all the longevity products and my Truth Skin Health products and other wonderful miscellaneous products at BrightsideHealth.com. We will talk to you tomorrow. We'll continue talking connective tissue and cardiovascular disease. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now. Alright guys, we're ready for our four season sunroom and daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try little bro, it's a gym, my gym. Hey, grandma's getting her four seasons garden room, weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons Now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-848-6333. That's 800-848-6333. Registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs ensures he gets the best use of his mineral supplements by using Longevity's Ultimate Enzymes. If you start a nutritional supplement program and you find that you get loose stools more than you get any benefits from the supplements, there's a good chance that you're not absorbing the minerals. Now, here's the thing about minerals and mineral absorption. You need to have a functioning fat system. You need to have functioning bile. You need to have a well-functioning liver and a well-functioning gallbladder in order to get the benefits from nutritional supplements with minerals. It's very common that 
as we get older, we don't absorb fats, we don't utilize fats, and then you won't be utilizing or absorbing minerals either. I would be getting on the ultimate enzymes from longevity. I'd be making sure I was taking them with all my meals. To get optimal use of your nutritional supplements, order Ultimate Enzymes from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at 